Hello, everyone. Today I'm with top basketball recruit, class of 2024, Royce Parham. Thank you for joining me today. It's great for you having me on the show today. Start with my first question. How old were you when you started playing basketball? Just as young as I can remember. Like, I've always been involved in basketball my whole life, ever since I was young. So the ball has just always kind of been in your hands. Yep, that's that. I used to play some other sports when I was younger, but I, I, it's mainly basketball, as, as, as young as I can remember. So basically, just basketball. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that answers my next question since I was gonna ask what other sports you played. Uh let's see. I I played football for a little bit in like elementary and like I played like the little like like the softball, like the the, the little peewee soccers and those kind of sports, you know. Uh, that's all I used Yeah. to play. It's kinda of like all the like fun stuff, like trying it out. Yeah, like like flag football too here and there. So yeah. Stuff like that. But it was, it was mainly basketball and all. Oh, yeah, that was always like your focus. You knew, you know. Mm -hmm. What's it been like playing for the North Hills basketball program? It's been a good ride, you know. My first year was kind of bad because it was COVID, and I caught COVID, and our team, a lot of people on our team got COVID. So our first year was just all right. It was just kind of bad. Our, our second year was really good. We went, we went undefeated in the regular season, but we lost in the championship game. Is what it is, and then mm -hmm. this year we lost in, in the in the semifinals, but we got another section championship, which is good. Like, so yeah, uh, they get that section. Yeah, which is really good that we got that too this year. Yeah, so you guys have had some good runs, you know, like and got unfinished business again. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most intense high school basketball game you've ever played in? Most intense. Okay, so this this was during my freshman year. It was for AAU. Mm -hmm. We played um Bryce James, and then like LeBron James was actually courtside, which was really? crazy. Yes, it was like it was it was, it was a crazy experience, and it was at like his old high school, uh, Saint Vincent Saint Mary's. Oh, so it was like packed, and it was, it was a crazy game, and we and we ended up beating Bryce, which was a really good experience. That is cool. Mm -hmm. so you got, you came out of like, California. Uh no, it was it was at LeBron's old high school, which is in, oh, Ohio. in Ohio. Yeah, it was at his old high school. It was like a little like tournament thing there. That's pretty cool. That's my pretty freshman cool. Year. Yeah. What kind of AA AAU teams have you played on it and with, and who are some of the top guys you've gotten to face or play with in it? So right now I'm playing for Team Durant. Last year I played for Team Durant, and the year before that, like I I played for Wildcat Select. But I would, I've just been sticking with Team Durant because I got like a lot of looks. We travel a lot, everything, everything's good. And I played with like some of the top guys. I played against like top, top 10 kids in the country. And we have some good guys on our team who are ranked high, which is good. That's so, yeah. cool. You got in, like just a lot of exposure to like what you're going to have at the college level, too. Yeah, a lot of exposure. Have you met Kevin Durant? No, but. His dad did coach us. Oh, really? His dad was the coach of our team last year, which was a good experience. That's cool. He, yeah. yeah so that must have been a great experience. He probably has a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. You have a top four of Xavier, Pitt, Penn State, and Marquette. What do you like about each school? I was, I was, I'll start off with Marquette. Uh, Marquette, it's, it's a really good school. I really, really like the coach. The players, the facilities, and one and one thing about Marquette is they play their home games in the Bucks Arena, which is oh, which really? is which is crazy, which is like crazy, and it's and it's always packed too. Um, but I really like built a bond, like a good bond with, with the with the coach and, and and with some of the players too, and they have, and they have really nice facilities, which is really good. Uh, That's then also cool. I'll go to Pitt. I'll go to Pitt. Um, Pitt. It's in my backyard. It's like fifteen minute drive away for me, which is like really good. Um, I've met the coaches. I met some of the players. I've been up there for a few games, which is nice. And then, and the coaches also have come up for a, a few of my games and for my practices. So I built like a good bond with them, and 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 it's just not like a hometown school, which I really like. Uh, Penn State. 
Penn State is really important to me because my mom was the alma mater there. She oh, played wow. there, basketball. She, I think she's still the leader in blocks there. I'm not sure, though. That's cool. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, though. She, I think she is, though, which is really nice. And, well, with the recent coaching change, it's, it's kind of hard with Penn State to talk about them as they lost their coaches. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's still, like, a good school. I really like the campus and, and all the players and, and, and their fans show up. And then lastly, Xavier. I went up on a visit. It was really nice. Uh, I have a bond with with the, the head coach and the assistant coach, Sean Miller and, 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 and Adam Cohen, which is really nice. Um, and I just really like the facilities because they only have basketball there. So, like, fans are always going to mm-hmm. show up to the games, which is really nice and everything. So, yeah. Yeah, so you definitely have a great top four. I mean, all those things like Marquette. That, I did not realize they play at the Bucks Arena. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's crazy. And then, like, Shaka Smart, obviously a great coach. Led the final four appearance of VCU. Then mm. Pittsburgh, right there in your backyard, like you said. So your family can easily, like, go see all your games. Yeah. And, then, like, Penn State, that's cool. Like, you got the family blood there. Mm-hmm. Then Xavier, another great coach, Sean Miller, what he did at Arizona. And then, you know, yeah. you'll have the fans no matter what. Mm-hmm. Of course. How have the fan bases been trying to get you to come in? And what's it like having fans watch closely to your recruitment? It's just been like, like a whole good experience. Like, like some fans are like DMing me on Instagram or like texting me. And like a lot of them are like commenting on like my TikToks and stuff like that. Like, like come here, come here. We are Penn State, something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Just, just, just stuff like that. So, but, but I do really like it it's a really good experience it's really nice yeah so it's a great experience you know you're wanted by the coaches but not only them the fans who are going to be watching no matter yeah whatever school you pick Mm -hmm. have you made a visit to each of these four schools yep uh i took an official to penn state in marquette and i took unofficials to pitt and xavier so you got to feel like every all the campuses mm-hmm. like, yeah. where you'll play. Mm-hmm. When do you think you'll be making a decision? Um, I don't know yet. It's really up in the air right now. I, So, yeah, I don't really know, like, an exact date, but it might be sooner than later. But I'm not sure. Yeah, just, like, when you feel ready, you know, what the school yeah, is when for I... you. Mm-hmm. What are your goals for your senior season? Uh, just just win a championship because I lost all every every other year. So it's it's only like like at my current school. Uh, I just hit my thousand points this year, and oh, I have wow. the and I have the in in game scoring record, which was forty seven point which was forty seven points for the game. So then the next thing left is just win a championship. You know, so you got everything. Like, you know, you got the stats. Now you just want to bring them a championship. Yep, of course. What's one thing you hope to leave behind in your high school basketball career? Uh, I, I, I just, I just want to be known as like, as, as, as like a really good person, and like, just not on, just not on the court, but just like off the court, and like, pretty much just inspire kids to play basketball and, and to be better people. <laughs> Yeah, so just not only be like, not just be yeah. known for your basketball skills, obviously. It can yeah. make a difference, like, for their lives. hmm How do you describe yourself off the court? Uh, I'm I'm a really, uh, I'm just, like, a really good person. Uh, I'm really active. I like to communicate with people a lot, which, which, which is something I really like to do. I like to work out and stuff like that and just, like, hang with my friends. So just kind of like do like yeah. fun stuff like with your friends and then make sure work out, staying mm-hmm. in shape for basketball, and then just a good yeah. person. People someone that, that people stuff, want yeah. want to have around, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that stuff. Then the last question I was for fun. You get to take any three NBA players to dinner. They could be past or present. Who are you taking? Well, personally me, I'm a Thunder fan. So I take, I take Shea, SGA, 
probably Josh Giddy, and then Russ because I I loved Russ back in the day. That's my favorite fun. player. Which is, yeah, I, I he just gets too much hate now. I know. So, I sucks, love Russ. Yeah. So much. I was a mm-hmm. I was an OKC fan because of him, but then like once he got but traded, then he moving teams, yeah. I kind of just like I don't kind of follow him, but I would I agree with the Russell Westbrook one definitely. Mm-hmm. He's awesome. Yeah. As hopefully you can have that dinner. Yeah. All right. Thank you for taking the time to join me today. Yep, yep always.